Waterloo Region Housing Market Overview for July. The Waterloo Region housing market experienced a modest increase in home sales during July due to lower interest rates and a rise in available inventory. In July, 639 homes were sold in the Waterloo Region through the Multiple Listing Service, often referred to as the MLS system, of the Cornerstone Association of Realtors. This marks a 4.6% increase compared to the same period last year, but a 16.6% decrease compared to the 10-year average for July. Crystal Mora, the spokesperson for the Waterloo Region market area, noted, In July, we observed a slight increase in home sales year over year, following a reduction in interest rates. This seems to have provided a modest boost to market activity. However, many potential buyers are taking a cautious approach, waiting to see if interest rates will decrease further, which could lead to better buying conditions. Residential sales in July included 382 detached homes, up 4.1% from July 2023. 126 townhouses, up 5.0%. 82 condominium units, up 9.3%. 48 semi-detached homes, up 9.1%. The average sale price for all residential properties in Waterloo Region was $782,716. This represents a 1.6% decrease compared to July 2023 and a 0.9% decrease compared to June 2024. Here are the average prices for different types of homes. Detached homes average $914,469, a 0.6% decrease from July 2023, but a 1.6% increase from June 2024. Townhouses average $617,062, a 7.7% decrease from July 2023 and a 7.1% decrease from June 2024. Apartment style condominiums average $494,897, a 0.6% decrease from July 2023 and a 7.1% increase from June 2024. Semi detached homes average $667,063, a 0.6% decrease from July 2023 but a 2.7% increase from June 2024. Last month, there were 1,391 new listings added to the MLS system in Waterloo Region, marking a 15.9% increase compared to July last year and a 27.5% increase compared to the previous 10-year average for July. At the end of July, there were 1,817 homes available for sale in active status, a 61.9% increase compared to July of last year and 38.9% above the previous 10-year average of 1,308 listings for July. Inventory levels across the market rose by 65.0%, with 3.3 months supply for all property types at the end of July. Townhouses saw the most significant increase in inventory, rising by 85.0%. There are 5.7 months supply for condo apartments, 3.7 months for townhouses, and 2.8 months for detached homes. The months of inventory indicate how long it would take to sell current inventories at the current sales rate. The average time it took to sell a home in July was 22 days, four days longer than the previous month. In July 2023, it took 16 days to sell a home, while the five-year average is 17 days. Cornerstone stresses the importance of consulting with a local realtor when considering buying or selling property in the Waterloo region. Their expertise can provide valuable insights into current market conditions, helping individuals make well-informed decisions aligned with their goals and preferences. I'm Mark with Timo Krafka, a local realtor with Remax Real Estate Center and a member of the Cornerstone Real Estate Board. If you have any questions or thoughts about the July Waterloo Region real estate statistics or the real estate market in general, feel free to leave them in the comments or message me directly.